Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I have um, a few things that I'm going to show you that I have been working on for my craft fair. I'm not even quite sure how to do this. I have so much stuff out on my desk. So, um, I am busy making all kinds of things and I've gotten a lot of these ideas from a channel um, Lyric Lover Crafts Lyric Lover I will link it for you in the description because she has all these videos and series on um, fun and cool crafts to make for um, craft fairs and she uh, you know, has new ones every year and she tells you what her best sellers are and what she and her sister um, who I think she works with, um, are pricing things at. Anyway, it's just awesome. So a lot of these ideas are from her, so I'm not going to be doing videos on how to make them, but um, some of them, you know, from other people or that I came up with. But this is one I know she did several years ago. Um, and basically, you just cut a bunch of tags and then package them with the baker's twine or the string and just make them look really cute in these cellophane um, bags. And they're, you know, a quick, easy mass make. So I've done a bunch that are like Christmas themed on nice um, scrap of paper and then white on the back. Um, but then I did some that are more year round, kind of like you could use for birthdays or other other events. So anyway, got a whole bunch of these that I am going to put out at my craft fair. And then I made these actually a few years ago and it is a set of Christmas cards and this is the last one that's left, but there's six cards with envelopes and it's a um, tree made with scraps. Um, I love it and I may be doing a video because I've got an idea of doing these trees a little bit differently and some buttons and things so that may be coming. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. Um, these are traveler's notebooks that you can order like on Amazon and then I've just altered them just a little bit to make it a pretty inexpensive little um journal or you know for your grocery list to-do list somebody could throw their holiday lists right depending on when they buy it um, in their bag so that's another one that I like and then I've done a bunch of these before and they sold really well. The really beautiful scrapbook paper kits and just embellished them. I did a lot of liquid pearls on here, glitter, ribbons, um, different things and sell them, you know, a dollar or um, three, three for $2, something like that. You know, just different things. These um, are a little more involved. They have jeweled um brads, the sparkly ribbons, a lot of um, pearls. So these are a little more expensive and made with more expensive scrapbook paper too. It's that Stamperia paper. Um, some cards, things like that. Um, this is made with some Echo Park paper that is just too cute. And I've added stickers and again, to use as Christmas cards or to tie on tags. This is more of the Stamperia ones with the kittens. Anyway, the pink Christmas theme. So lots of things there. Um, and I still have to get my display stuff set up. Okay, this is one, and I've made these before, but it's the Hershey Nuggets that you wrap, either in wrapping, little pieces of wrapping paper or scrapbook paper, and um, tie together. So, um... I haven't finished all of mine, but I wanted to show you. I'm doing them in a variety of papers and themes. I'm gonna try to do some that are more just kind of winter in case people don't really celebrate um, in the same way. Okay, I've got more um, sets of cards that I've embellished with really cute um, stickers and um, scallop circles and punches and things like that. So, and then again, I think that the packaging, you know, really makes it cute. So these are a set of five and I'm gonna sell these for $6. So, and they have the envelopes too. All right, this is another one that she has on her channel that I just love. And I'm doing some with a starburst lollipop and some with a Tootsie Roll Pop. Um, and, it's just like a little, a little favor. Aren't they cute? A little sticker and a little embellishment ribbon. Um, 
Those are so fun and cute. And then these are tea favors. And again, I've made them using a variety of styles of paper. Every year she does some kind of tea favor. This one's from a few years ago and I just like it. I like it in the little bag. I like the spoon, the little honey packet, all of that. So those are the kind that I'm making this year. I also have some hot chocolate favors that I'm going to do, um, but I haven't put any of those together yet, but it'll be, I'm um, a little pouch with a hot chocolate packet and um, a, a fun Christmas straw. And um, I may do a spoon or I may do a, um, I was thinking about oh, a peppermint, uh, a peppermint stick or a candy cane, something like that. So I'm still working on that idea. Um, this I'm probably going to end up putting on my Etsy store. Um, this is a accordion flippy journal, Christmas themed papers. Love it. So, um, there's that. I made those a few years ago too, um, but I just made this one and sewed around all that. I just love it. Okay, and then here's another one of those folios. I've shown you guys how to make these using scrapbook paper. This one I made a little bit smaller and it's filled with a bunch of um, tags with the beautiful paper, again, um, embellished with a bunch of the liquid pearls. Um, I just think it turned out beautifully. Um, plenty of room to journal, to craft. This has a stacked pocket on the flip. So this is a little bit different, the flip. So there's a pocket. Let me get everything out of here. There's one, two, two pockets on this side. Look at that pink Santa. Oh my gosh, love, love, love this paper. Um, okay, so there's that big pocket, and then on this side, there's also, oh, a pocket. Um, look at the tree. Isn't it cute? So again, I think these will be fun gift tags. They'll be fun journaling cards, anything like that. But this would just be a fun gift. I think I'm going to put a pretty um, ribbon around it. So um, there's that one. Oh, and then this is something, I saw this on Pinterest, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to make some of these to sell at the craft fair. So it's vintage buttons on a variety of different threads and twine, and it's meant to be like a bookmark or, you know, for, for your journal to have be a dangle that's removable, um, but to give it a little bit of... Um, bling, right? Jewelry for your book or your journal. This one I made to fit in this Reader's Digest size. Um, so I'm going to be making some journals out of some of these Reader Digest books. Um, but I might make them a little bit longer so that like even, let's see, um, the uh, little golden book, it'll fit, but wouldn't it be cute, I think, if it was a little bit longer. We'll just close these in there. And that and and they hung down a little further. I don't know. I'm I'm playing with that. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. And tell me what you think about the vintage um button bookmark idea. And this one, of course, was done in neutrals, but you could do other colors. Um took a little while. Maybe I'll get better at it um when I make more, but I sh did struggle a little bit. And then let me show you, I didn't bring these over to my desk because I ran out of room, but I think you guys are gonna be excited. I'm gonna show you the ones that I have ready. And I'm getting ready to let y'all um, order these as soon as, um, pretty soon. I'm gonna list the ones that I have and um, if people wanna purchase them, have them available. Uh, not not through Etsy, most likely. These don't have Disney on them, so they might they'll, they'll they'd probably be okay on Etsy. I'm I'm still thinking through how I'm gonna do this, but I usually make a variety of the Christmas little golden book um junk journals and sell to my online friends and followers first. And I try to have a few at the craft fair and they sell okay. But a lot of times if you don't really know what you're looking for, and I know how much time I put into all of these, um, they're not really priced at a 
at a craft fair um, price. On Etsy, I sell these for $60 and it comes with free shipping. Um, this year I am gonna add to some of them these tassels that are removable. Um, some I didn't put the brad on just so that we have, we have options. I haven't added all the pockets and, and different things yet. I'm This is something I'd love y'all's opinion on as well, so let me know. Um, would you be interested in one that's just put together, maybe, you know, with a tassel or something, but where you then go in and put your own pockets, your own tags and all that, or would you like one that is a little more finished? Let me know your thoughts, um, and I'm sure some people are gonna say, <laughs> They like one that they could do themselves, and others are going to want some that are a little more finished. But let me know. I would love that. So I also have, that was, um, what were these? This was the 12 days of Christmas, the night before Christmas. I have the Jingle Bells. <laughs> I love this one. So sweet. Look at the images. And I did make these where the pages are in order. Very cute. Um, and like I said, and I've made the dangles that I'm going to put on them. Here's Frosty the snowman. <laughs> so his dangle will be attached. And again, these are all different years. This one is um, a 92, but many of these are much older. Let's see what Jingle Bells is. Jingle Bells. It was a 64, 1964, so um, different different years. And I got a couple more finished, and, and I still have a, a pile. I have a Rudolph <laughs> and a Santa's Toy Shop. These are always um, bestsellers. So Rudolph um, is an 85 this time in great condition, and we'll have a lovely tassel and then Santa's workshop I decided to not do a tassel on and Santa this is going to be a little bit older when 1950 so yeah but in very good condition for 1950 really happy with how Santa turned out and then let me show you the other ones I've picked out but they aren't they aren't done yet My Christmas Treasury, another version of Rudolph. This one is an 82. The Nutcracker, fun. And then the Littlest Christmas Elf. This one I've already made its spine. Just haven't taken it apart and done that yet. So I think I'll have 10. And if one of these is screaming your name already, uh, send me an email or message me so we can exchange emails. But my emails and my... Um, bio and, and my link tree, all that. But um, if you want to go ahead and reserve one. But um, yeah, I'm excited and can't wait to have time to finish putting the rest of my little golden book journals together this year. So busy, busy, busy in the Sparkle Studio. I hope you guys are excited as I am for the upcoming holiday and craft beer season. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about the projects I've picked out so far. Thanks, everybody.